Nobody plays <laughs> with friends. How come you're after somebody from Organization 13? What is they that? They killed my whole family, the you guy see. In black. One of the bad guys. I knew it. There's a rumor. In I the knew Imperial I was a good guy, and they were a bad black. guy. Lurking in the mountains. I'd been up here tracking him, but when you Mulan, arrived, you're I not that him. good. <laughs> you I could be better him. at your job. <laughs> I was tracking him. Don't apologize. That's cute, Mulan. Real like cute. Him. You think you're effective. <laughs> <laughs> Just because the Emperor had a crush on you does not mean you can do cool things like these. <laughs> Mulan, there is a being who does not exist and cannot emote, but can also emote and does exist. Mm. Are you prepared for that? For fuck's sake, not again. And what happened to Ping? More padding. <laughs> he knows. Okay, He's recognized first. the pattern at this point. <laughs> <laughs> he just <laughs> runs away and leaves them to die. Oh no! Oh. Sephiroth, what do you want? Hey, you! Quit sneaking around! Hey, you! Look at my stupid key plane! <laughs> okay, fine, I'll leave. Merry Christmas. Listen, there's snow everywhere. <laughs> that makes sense. Sora forgot about these things. They're very troublesome. The mysterious man. Oh, he's who got a bat. Be? I wonder who that is. Yeah. Back off. That's Sephiroth! I can tell. That's Cloud. Wait a minute, that's Leon. That's the fighter from Final Fantasy 1. This is actually from Resident Evil 4. It's Goku. <laughs> it's gotta be. Sonic. It's gotta be. <laughs> He's narrowed it down. That shadow of the head. That's up. Doug Funny, I can tell. That's Doug Walker. That's Linkara. <laughs> Doug Funny would show up to school wearing an organization jacket. Yeah, and he'd bring in a bunch of dynamite too. I would love to see Doug Funny turn into that. Into this? Well, Doug Funny is essentially Chris Chan. He's the same person. I would love he to see. He even makes comics about people that he hates in real life. Whoever has the rights to Doug should sell it to a guy who just makes Doug into a school shooter. <laughs> oh my god. I'm pretty sure they would not do that. They wouldn't do it. <laughs> they awesome. wouldn't do it now. I'd watch it. Skeeter's the one bullying him, and the Skeeter would have. Oh, Why not, Skeeter? We no, just not, got no, the, no, not Skeeter. Roger. Roger would bully him, and we then, got the Nielsen box ratings in. One person watched. That would be a really good story. <laughs> no, I think everybody would watch. Yeah, everyone I, would watch. I that. think everybody would watch with their mouth kind of wide <laughs> open. I mean, they would not be appreciated. Can, yeah. Tell me that this is a bad character arc for both Roger and Doug. I'll say it makes sense. Doug starts off as the kid daydreaming and all that shit. Roger's right? putting him in his place. Exactly. No, Roger's bullying him because Doug deserves to be bullied, right? But then, he goes too far, and now Doug is becoming like a school shooter type, and now Roger feels bad, so they both go anyway, through a character arc, where Doug now? becomes bad, and Roger becomes good. And Roger becomes the Keyblade wielder. Roger sees what he's done, and then, he stops him, and then he says, he, oh, You then, know what, Doug? I'm sorry, I love you! We and then he seals Doug in Kingdom Hearts forever. But then Doug kills Patty, because he wouldn't fuck her. What was that? <laughs> Come on. We better get off the mountain. We better stop talking okay. about this. What happens this? to Mr. Mr. Dink? Um, what part does he play in this? He whole tries debacle? protecting the kids, but they all get shot up in one room. Oh my! So there's so the shooting is successful. Yeah, of course it is. It's Doug. Why would Doug be that capable? How would he pull it off? He's good at planning shit. Stop trying to put her in my party! When has Doug ever been good at planning anything? <laughs> everything is on like him. Everything blows up in his face. Didn't you see him in the movie? He, pl he plants stuff like an army general. There was an episode where he gets a letter from the school, and he thinks it's a letter about how he failed a test and he's gonna get in trouble. So he spends the whole episode trying to open it without leaving, like, any evidence, and he ends up lighting the whole house on fire. <laughs> As parents come home, they finally open the letter, and it's exactly what he was worried about, and there's no lesson learned. Like, it just kind of wraps up with him getting tutored by Patty. Uh, I don't remember him ever being good at Didn't planning anything. Didn't he also anything. burn down Patty's house? He burned down Patty. No, he threw a rock at Patty's old house and <laughs> knocked it down, and then she said, Doug Funny, you're horrible. Because he is. <laughs> <laughs> wow, well, Doug, you burned my parents, but I love you. I'm sorry for giving them fourth-degree burns on their heads, He's very mad at this cloaked man. That would be if he broke into my fucking house, my big red house. <laughs> The famous big red house. Bear in the big red house. He's not a bear. He's a twink. <laughs> twink what do you call? What do you call? <laughs> what is? What do you call that in in an old man? Gay terminology. What do you refer, you refer to as a skinny old man? An oldie moldy. Um, <laughs> 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 
<laughs> That's sad. <laughs> no, she has to be skinny. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Holdy moldy. That's disgusting. <laughs> It's because it, it's it's by rhyming it makes it sound like it's meant to be really like endearing. <laughs> Too bad such an insulting nickname. Exactly. Uh tell the viewers how mad I looked when you walked in the door today. You were pretty angry because your cat was pooping everywhere still. Yeah, and and then and you, you started to clean pooping it up. to set an example. <laughs> <laughs> he sweated shit on the cat. But that doesn't make any sense. How is that setting an example? He started pooping in the litter box to go, See, you don't like it when I poop in places I'm not supposed to. <laughs> you didn't even tell him that I stepped in shit right when you walked in the door. Oh, did you? Was it right as we were walking in? Well, I thought I was you had cleaning done it, it like off my before. feet. I was cleaning it off my foot in the bathtub when you walked in. He slid across the floor into the bathroom, and then there was a whole collection of shit that he knocked <laughs> over. I am sorry that this happened to you, Chris. It's okay. It makes for a funny thing to talk about, maybe. I hope the cat's okay. I took him to the vet, like, a week ago. He's just being an asshole. By the way, I took him to the vet, and it cost two grand, and they're like, Yeah, he's fine. I- uh, doctor's telling you you're fine. Don't you love- Is really frustrating. Spending two grand just to be like, Oh, you wasted all of your time and got nothing from it. Have I told the story about, uh, Getting my nuts checked when I was in Canada. No, they're gonna say chopped off. <laughs> I'm glad that never happened. No, it he was. Needs uh, those. They do that up there, you know. I yeah. was uh, I was having really intense pain in my nethers mm. uh, while I was up in Canada, and uh, and you said, "Oh bother!" I didn't have any. In <laughs> oh bother! <laughs> my nethers. Why did Why even bring up poo? Because you called them your nethers. <laughs> oh. I thought that was a funny you way of putting it. You, you mean say. poo lives in the nether? Yeah, he lives in the nether world. I can see Pooh saying, oh, my nethers. <laughs> my nethers. You shouldn't have nethers. <laughs> did, uh, did you see the big guy push the little guy a little bit? I didn't have, <laughs> I didn't have insurance, uh, uh, like, for regular, and even then, I don't know if they would take it in Canada, so I just had to raise the money myself to mm. uh, go get checked out. But anyway, after, like, going there and staying, I went to the emergency room because I was in really bad pain, mm. and... They got, and I got in, and, uh, and then I fell asleep in the waiting room because, you know, it's the emergency room, you end up waiting there all night. Yeah. And the pain was gone by the time I woke up, and so I was like, this sucks that I, like, I, I wasted everybody's time. And I still got checked out, and they were like, oh yeah, I feel something. And then, like, they, they took me in to do tests, and they are just like, yeah, Nothing. we don't know what the fuck it is, and... Ugh. So I just had to be like, okay, my, my nuts hurted for, like, three days straight, and, uh, I had to... I forget how much money I had to come up with to cover it, Such because I had to pay shit. out of pocket, but, At uh, the same time, I could at least say... At least nothing is wrong. No, yeah, no, that's <laughs> the part that sucks about it. You feel shitty being like, Man, I wish there was something wrong with me. I'm used to going and then something's way worse than I thought. Like, I remember when I was younger, my parents thought I was faking sick and I was insisting over and over again I wasn't. And we finally get looked at and they said to me too, like, If you're sick, then that's fine. But if you're not sick, that's it. You're never going to see the doctor again. I remember you told me that story. And I story. had pneumonia, yeah. Uh, yeah. My my lung collapsed when I was fresh out of high school. I didn't know what was wrong. I was watching a movie with friends and I was just in pain all of a sudden. What does it feel like to have your lung collapse? Describe Specifically it. for me, it was that my throat was in a lot of pain and it was hard to swallow. And I said that was because I had like an air bubble or something in my lung that popped. Ew. And that ended up like rupturing my throat a little bit or something. So they were making me swallow stuff and everything to make sure nothing was seeping It's very- out. it sounds very scary. I'd be terrified. I was in there for like a week and a half. It's because I had really bad asthma when I'm younger and you're all hearing it. I have a lot of allergic reactions to things. I'm a frail- We're sickly frail nerds. ...being. Chris is a- Chris is a, a- a- a virile alpha. Chris was eating asbestos for breakfast. <laughs> able He's able way tougher than individual. we are. Am I? <laughs> I had a, a frequent, or not frequently, recently, I I felt there was something wrong with my heart really bad. Jesus. I was, like, having weird heart, like, I, I would feel one beat every, like, f like, ten minutes that just felt really, really too, too much. And I was like, shit, this is gonna cost a lot of money. And since it's near the end of the year and I didn't have health insurance this year, I have to wait till January to get it checked out. So I was just like, I hope I don't die before then. <laughs> and then, uh... But then it just stopped, so now I'm like, oh, cool.
cool. That's the that's the thing. You always feel these really intense pains, and then it's like, okay, well, it's gone now. Yeah, it wasn't painful. It was just really like, well, that's not good. That doesn't feel right. It was a new thing. We're hoping to get checked out soon. If I die, it will be from a heart attack. I mean, that is the most common uh, way to die, isn't it? In Runs in my family. Every single person's had a bad heart. Listen to this silent cutscene. It went quiet because they all heard me say that I'm gonna die of a heart attack, and they all felt bad. <laughs> they, yeah, they felt bad. <laughs> they didn't want to make any funny jokes. I was gonna oh, say, was that cutscene there to be like, oh, remember when she yes, was climbing Yes, remember earlier? that she climbed the Okay, thing. but isn't that a little bit insulting to her character? What the, the fuck is that? The duck and the dog were able to climb up with no problem, and Donald comes in and trips over himself, but she had an issue. Now you have to defeat all the nobodies. They're nobodies? They are. Wait, how do you know if they're a nobody or not? The general design aesthetic. They, they're just wearing suits? Like, they're, they're, you know, these they're like lighter colored, they're kind they're, of silvery. They're more people-like, I guess. <laughs> I would say, yeah, they're more uh, human-like. I think most of the time, if not all the time, I don't think any of them have visible eyes. Um, the way they're animated, like this guy, see if when I hit him, like he's all weird and jiggly. Do you feel weird about that concept though? Because with Heartless, I can kind of understand it because the heart itself, whatever, it's like a, you can you can take that places. Nobody's are supposed to be your body, right? So why do they shape shift into these? Um, when I feel other people like it are just sort people. of makes sense. This idea that like all of them are portrayed as like these empty like suits of clothes. That kind of makes sense to me, in a thematic way, where it's like, okay, the body withered away, and it's just, it, like you're an empty shell that flaps around in the wind. That's why Roxas thought the curtain was a girl. Your Excellency, I am a, a beautiful wife. Marry me. <laughs> no, I like this guy better. Yes, he's my <laughs> husband. <laughs> yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> uh. Your Honor, I wish to... <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, what are they talking about, Julian? Uh, there, he needs him to go to the store for him because he's out of milk. Rude! <laughs> then it was Riku! Riku's the only rude person in the world! Gowersh. <laughs> Look at that duck. It's a crane. No, it's a duck. And that's an actual crane outside the building right now. That's a duck model. <laughs> they <It's> stepping <laughs> around. <laughs> it shook everybody. That's a duck they stretched on the Z-axis really hard. <laughs> Indeed, this is cool. Huh. Yeah, let's just sit, <laughs> st stand around here no, silently. No one in this universe can hurry. There. I like this world. Don't worry, Chris, it's almost over already. Uh. We've been here for like, what, 15 minutes? Yeah. This game could have been over by now. I mean, it could have been. We're just revisiting all the worlds now. You know, the, the fact that you go back and just do this weird, stupid nonsense. Is any of this fun, Julian, from now on? It's satisfying to play, at least. Is it? I, I think it feels good. Okay. When do you unlock Turbo Vision? Uh, I, I do remember mm -hmm. end of the game when you're fully upgraded. Yeah, once you've got all the abilities It's actually and really fun to play at the end. Your movement feels good in this once you got everything. It's a big step up from the Even first just, game. Even just the basic, like, hitting things with a keyblade, it's yeah. satisfying. Hey, she can't go in there. The sound, the sound effects do a lot to make it Ooh. like a really good physical Close the door. effect. Don't, don't hurt that. That's a creature of Earth. <laughs> That's a living being. <laughs> I like him. Oh, he is another thing. He's supposedly, he's supposed to be another dragon that's like naturally occurring, but they turned him into a heartless. Uh, why does he have that, fucking... I don't think they even say that in any of those cutscenes, but I think it's in the journal. The people who design him are racist. Why are, is you, that? are you saying that because of the little chimes that yeah, he has on him? Yeah, they put big old gongs on him. Hmm, how do we make it more Chinese? Is it because he has fans for wings? Yeah, that too. Is it because of the giant straw hat that he's wearing? Does he have a mustache? <laughs> he doesn't have a mustache. What's the name of this creature? Uh, Van Helsing. He has a mustache. Oh, I like that. That looks like a mustache, at least. Is that not a mustache? What do you do if you fall off him? Uh, you have to do it from the ground. So don't fall off him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well. No, no, you, you fucked. You fucked, Julian. Merry Christmas. Is he difficult? 
No. He looks like a pushover. <laughs> Ding dong! What? I was doing an impression of a door. Oh. Oh. I get confused by that a lot. <laughs> when you hear the doorbell, uh -huh. you go, ME! <laughs> This is kind of cool. Oh, you get to move the tornadoes too. Yeah, yeah, you do. That's this neat. Is sweet. I think you guys are, are sweet little tornadoes. You know. Thank you, Chris. I that means a lot. That's no problem. Chris, tornadoes are scary. They rip things apart. Not me. I went in one and spun around and went. What is this? Like a carnival ride or something? That's what I Coach McGurk that. says. <laughs> no, Coach McGurk says that you're supposed to. You hold you you look you hold hands or you let go. What is it? <laughs> He says you get sucked into the funnel, and everyone's separated. It's just like a fun ride. But if you're all in a group in a cluster, you start banging into each other, and then your heads collide and you die. Wow, that's right. right. <laughs> I always, uh, I always feel a little sad that people know that voice actor not really for him, for Coach, for Coach McGurk. McGurk. Yeah, it's my favorite one. H John's been around God for a damn. long time. It's weird that he I just guess, took off. It seems like Archer was what really got him like a lot of attention. And Bob's Bungers. Bob's That's burgers, true. Yeah. Do you think they're gonna put Max in Kingdom Hearts 3? I wish they would. He'd be cool. I think that would be kind of fun. Julian, how would you feel if he was the only Disney character with like a really over-the-top Final Fantasy design? <laughs> like he- it's a depressed adult Max dressed up like I'd Leon. be happy if that was the case. I don't think they would do that, but- no, they would. I would It'd like an extremely goofy movie world where you have to do X game stuff. You just do goofy movie, even. You no, could, You could fight the Bigfoot. I mean, I like the Bigfoot. They'd have a scene where you have to steer the car down the river. I'm surprised how much I like the extremely goofy movie. I thought the I'd hate expressions it. are a lot of fun. Yeah, they are. Damn, well, I, I would it. say that's the thing about it is if you're gonna go and watch that, Mr. Uh, Mr. Bradley Uppercrust yeah. the Third. Yeah? <laughs> yeah, he's very funny to watch. Yeah, uh, I remember the there's like an announcer at the games that's really funny. Oh, yes. Yeah. yeah, that's a good movie. It's a. You, <laughs> The deliveries never really match up with it either. It's just all the facial expressions. <laughs> no, I, I are kind of get the, the impression way. that they were like, "This dialogue is really boring. Probably. Let's spice it up." You can make shitty dialogue funny with yeah. the, with a weird expression. Ah, uh, hey, I did it! Mistakes into miracles. A man falls down and he gets impaled, but yeah. you put a funny cartoon sound <laughs> over it. See, now it works. <laughs> No! Oh no! Here, I'll push you down into it, so I guarantee you get hit by it. Ooh. Way to go! Yahoo! You did a good job falling down, Mulan. What if she lifted her head up and it was just a gaping red hole now? <laughs> She's gonna be. It would all make Goofy right. itch his nose. If I was Goofy's Gor Gora and Sonald, I would leave. If you were Goofy's girl? <laughs> I, I would just literally oh, just sorry, leave. I don't like girls. If, if she had a gaping wound for a face, I would just open a portal and leave. <laughs> what like, if at the end of the world she reveals to you that her mouth is actually a gaping wound that she's had? She was born without a mouth, and then she had someone stab one into her. I'd kiss her on the head. Oh, Goofy's insides are talking. Can we have some you Panda Express? Ha 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 ha! Sora, that's really insensitive. <laughs> he's so cute. Look at him. He even folds his legs when he sits. How precious. <laughs> or they just clip into the chair. Or they just didn't model the bottom half of his body. <laughs> I mean, it looks like a solid color, which is kind of weird. Cardboard box. Ha ha ha. I am boxy, you see. He has a box on his head. I really like that hat. I hope that's not insensitive to talk about. I, think it, I, think <laughs> I really it, like this thing. Hey! I you can't it, like that! I think it looks cool. This got to be. Skilled to be. That's got to be Riku the dragon. What's he doing hanging out with Organization 13? He probably likes their clothing. <laughs> <laughs> it really suits him if you think about it. That's right. <laughs> Do you have a request? I'd like Shang. Uh, I mean, what, the captain. Hmm. Yes, yes, my dear. What is it? Speak up, goddammit. <laughs> Can you have a vacation, please? He's the fuck? You want that as a request? Are you Are kidding me? Such humble requests. In this case, I'm afraid I must refuse. 
Captain Lee's responsibility is to protect the Emperor. Ha <laughs> ha. Did we watch the Mulan sequel too? I never saw it. Okay. Who did I watch all these Disney sequels with? Oh. Two reeds together are stronger than one. You're right. And two people together are stronger than one. Two you animals see, one together. one thing can be compared to another thing. You know, if you have many things, that's more than no <laughs> More things. than no one thing. Aww. <laughs> Your girlfriend's probably dead by now. You're right. <laughs> You're still right. Sora, it's like what he said. <laughs> many thing more than no thing. <laughs> Land of Dragons! Why do they do that? It's so weird. Because it, it's wrapping up the level. Now you know that you don't have to go there ever again. Ever, ever. Ever, 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 ever. And then it gets deleted off the map. It explodes in the <laughs> killer explosion. And then a text box pops up and says Mulan never found true love. Oh. Oh my god, who is this beautiful little harlot? It's a nice dress. And she dipped it in the beast's urine. She looks like a big I beautiful would do it. banana. <laughs> Mm, beast well. urine, very so tasteful. I. Yes, I, so I love his pheromones, you see. <laughs> I don't care, I just love his urine, you see. <laughs> you know, that's a concern. sign that he's claiming you. <laughs> if I was the beast, I would pee on a dress. It's a good thing you're not the beast. Has it at least been like, <laughs> like, I don't know, left out in the sun or something so it's not gross and wet? Nope. <laughs> Damn it. I think that would... Mm. That's a deal breaker. Could I take a bath afterwards? Why yeah. am I talking about wearing a dress? Yeah, well, yeah. what is going on? <laughs> what Julian? are you talking about? Because I'm thinking about this pee dress. Why did you just try to hit the beast? <laughs> I'm really thinking about it. I'm really considering it. I'm, I'm trying to rationalize it and make it less gross. No, it's pretty gross. Sorry, Julian. Okay, I'll save now.